Hello YouTube and fellow resellers of all kinds, shapes and sizes and people from Mars. This is Kevin the Stoic Reseller with another what sold in 24 hours. Today has been pretty solid. I have some new numbers to go over with you guys. So let's get right into it. Let's get this sloppily made AI tool. They told me that this was going to be the next coming of Jesus. And, uh... I don't know. Maybe it's like next coming of sliced bread. It's not correct. But it'll work. So we had nine sales today for a total of $363.85. Average sales cost of 31.8%. Remember, guys, that includes shipping, fees, and any relevant taxes that eBay collects from the buyer. That's everything included. Comes out to one fifteen seventy. My cost of goods is nine seventy an item to, for an eighty seven thirty. My net profit of one sixty seventy. You got to pay the robot taxes um, because otherwise they're just going to take over fifty four fifty eight because it's taxed to no end, leaving me a total profit of one oh six twelve. Now, guys, I'm going to start telling you something because I don't think people. Uh, you know, I, I listen to some videos here and there, and I don't think people, based on their questions, really have an understanding of how life-changing eBay truly can be, or reselling in general. If you don't like eBay, if you believe all the rhetoric on YouTube at the moment, that it's it's coming to an end, it's crashing, eBay site issues here and there and everywhere, you know, with very marginal information, if that... Um, you know, you can sell on Poshmark, Mercari, or whatever, who have a very minimal uh, clientele group in comparison to eBay. Uh, but to get into the numbers that I want to show you guys, if you break down 106.12 and break it down by an eight-hour workday, which is not what I do, but if this is, if you only list nine items, nine, ten items a day like I do, and this is your average day, you would be making $13.27 an hour. Now I think back, and when I worked at the bank and I worked at Target for eight years combined, working two jobs, Target, I never made more than I think $10.12 in 2016 when I quit. That was basically 12 cents above minimum wage, by the way. Um, this is still better than that. And the interesting thing about this is I'm doing it part-time. If you are a full-time reseller, think about how you could scale this. If you put a truly eight hours worth of pictures and listings, boy, oh boy, that number could be way better. Now, if you take how many hours I put into it every day, which is roughly three and a half hours, comes out to $30.32. Guys, let that sink in for a moment while we talk about our first item. Here's the first item. This is $10,000. Um, oh, you can't see it because my lighting is shit when I bring that up. But $10,000 is an amazing performance brand, and their pants specifically do awesome. These were new with tags. That's why I got a really high premium. Um, there was a, a stain on them, so that was noted and everything. Told, uh, sold in about a month and a half or so for $68. Very good profit there. The next item is Peter Millar Crown Crafted Full Zip Vest. Um, this was a really good sale as well. It did take about two and a half months, but this sold for $47.50. Guys, look up them Peter Millars. Their their polos, eh, kind of marginal. Everything else seems to do pretty solid. Next is a brand you all know. That is CC Filson. I find this regularly, guys. Um, maybe I'm just lucky. I have no idea. But maybe I'm unlucky because I only ever find it in that small. But this sold within a matter of a few days. Four. 
Uh, right. 14, item number 14, 16 is a pair of Nike pants. Guys, I'm telling you, you got to look this stuff up. Look it up. Uh, I did the comps on this. Said it should sell anywhere from 25 to 35 bucks. And look at that. I got $28 plus shipping. Um, and that sold, honestly, within the week. Uh, about a week and a half, actually. The next item. Hey, look at it. It's a Peter Millar again. Uh, I actually highlighted this in a one of my shorts when I picked it up. It's got this pattern on it. And Summer Comfort with a pattern will always sell for slightly more. Um, this did sell within about a month or so. Maybe less than a month. Uh, about three weeks. I don't know. Anyway, it's got $27 plus shipping. That's pretty damn solid. Uh, so guys, I also want to talk about one thing. And uh, there's been a conversation, I guess, around... Is this is this business... I mean, I, I hinted on it on the last video. Is it worth it? Is there a future in it? Um, you know, and there's also conversation about the haters there's people who are like oh you got a cross list to be successful you know and, and and i just don't i just don't think that's the case guys um I, I just really want to put it out there that you really need before you make any decision in life and and we're all going to learn this the hard way i've learned it the hard way i'm sure you've made decisions in life where you learn it the hard way and i will continue to make poor decisions until, until i learn the hard way um but you get better at processing and making decisions over time. So hopefully by the time you mature past 35, you're making more sound decisions. The decision that you need to, to make, if you're running this business and you're the size that I am, roughly anywhere from, I would say, 350 to 800 items, you should really be focusing more or less on picking up quality items, doing what is required, and staying within the confines of the time that you have to do this while still prioritizing what is important in life, which is family, friends, and free time, if you so choose on that one. I don't think the cross-selling thing is going to be, like for me, I looked at it from my perspective. Um, I have a lot of items that sell for about 20 to $25 plus shipping. And on those items, I make about seven to ten dollars total net profit. And I get, it got me to thinking. I was like, okay, so the most popular program I think is like Vendu, and it's upwards of ninety dollars plus a month. And yeah, you can scale that back after a while. But say you're, you're listening to Poshmark, so now you're spending ninety bucks. So if your whole goal is to sell more items. You now just increased the amount of items you have to sell every month just to pay for Vendue, which is, in my line of business, anywhere from, say, 10 to 15 items. That's profit that I could have just reinvested into eBay. I could have bought 10 to 15 additional items and just put it on eBay and allow the business to grow. So I, I don't know. And, you know, from what I've seen, yeah, people are saying, oh, it's working for me. I get one to two sales a day or whatever. Is it really worth it? You know what I mean? It's, it, I don't know. But that that's the kind of thing that you maybe you need to take the emotional response of getting additional sales with the efficiency and cost associated with those additional sales. Because I, I'm still a firm believer that eBay is still king. Um, like if you remove Amazon from the equation eBay is still king, and by a significant margin. Um, but you guys do you. You do your own research. My research is telling me it's not efficient enough. It's not worth my time. Maybe if I'm over that 800 listings person, it potentially starts becoming an actual thing because $90 a month for that volume of business is pretty significant. Um, and if I can increase my sales by like 20 to 25 items per week um, by cross-listing, then that would be very, very profitable. Uh, but, you know, you're, these other platforms are just not traffic-wise enough or proficient 
to really justify it, in my opinion. Um, moving on. Video's long enough, huh? Got a Nike Denver Broncos polo. Um, yeah, so you guys weren't as bad the first game. Still not great. Uh, but certainly signs of improvement. Uh, but <laughs> this polo sold for twenty four ninety seven and sold within a week. You know, I'm living proof that this stuff sells. Guys, this was cool. I listed this this morning. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren large tall white on white. You can kind of see the pony there. Um, no one had this. No one has a white on white, uh, which is pretty unique, I guess. Sold within a day for $24.97. Here's an item that sold within um, a couple days, actually. Uh, I just listed this yesterday or the day before. And this Untuck It shirt sold for $22.47. And guys, the last item is an item I should not have picked up. Um, you know, I still make mistakes. It kind of looks good. Like, you know, it's a cool shirt. You know, typically I sell these between 20 and 25 bucks. However, this style of shirt wasn't so popular. And there was general fading and wear throughout. Someone sent me an offer of $15 and I took it. Just to get rid of it. So yeah, guys. There's the nine items. Those are the topics of the day. Why don't you guys tell me this? Uh, do you think it's... How popular of an opinion is it to cross list? Is it worth your time when you think about having to spend an additional $90 in, say, 5 to 10 minutes cross-listing your items? I, I don't know. You tell me. Is it is it worth it for you? It's not worth it for me. Um, and also, is it, is it really worth reselling still? Is uh, $30.32 as a part-time job good? Hmm. I don't know. You guys tell me down in the comments. Like, subscribe, share my video. Until tomorrow, rule the day.